Hey, man, it's never too early to talk about the election. Uh, fucking 2000, 2020, right? So last time, right? Or last time around, when did, when does the when does the campaign actually start? When did the fucking when did it when did the horses come out of the out of the out of the gate and start running for president? Usually, like about six months from now, right? It's about a year and a half before the actual election. So you remember, back in uh, 2016, everything started to get crazy around uh, June 2015 when the candidates started to to declare. So next week is 2019, right? It's fucking end of the year already, right? And then it, it's only a couple of months, and then the, the candidates start to announce. So. So let's talk about, well, what do I think? I think looking, I, I don't think anybody can possibly, did a Republican beat Trump? Not going to happen, right? It's going to, no, nowhere in modern history has the candidacy for the presidency, the nomination been taken away from a wildly popular president. So that's not going to happen, right? So Trump, and you look at the Democrats, who is it? Fucking Elizabeth Warren, right? So she's a stiff, right? Beto, he's a nobody. He'll disappear f faster than fast, right? By the time, by the time shit rolls around, by the time primaries roll around, he starts to announce, and then he opens his mouth, and you realize he's an empty shell. He's gone. The 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 uh, political tools: Carmela Harris, Cory Booker, uh, fucking Joe Biden. Those those are all those are all shit sandwiches. They're not gonna. Those are they're just trying those names right now. The corporate media is presenting those names to the to the to the, the the discouraged left, whatever that means. You know the Democrats. Remember those guys, the Democrats that still believe in the Democratic Party that that believe that the elections are not rigged, that that the Democratic Party is somehow and you know in their favor. So, but there is one outstanding candidate, and of course it is. Right? It's fucking. You already have the smear campaign going on, so that you know. Whenever you're over the target, the smear campaign begins. So, what is who is the who's the the uh, New York Times talking about? Right, it's fucking talking about Bernie Sanders. Right, they're already smearing him. They're already saying he can't win. He's he doesn't have the 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 uh, he's too old. He he can't. He doesn't have the fans he used to have. They're saying all kinds of shit. Right, that's a good thing. Right. So I'm going to give each one of these gentlemen. I'm going to give Trump. Uh, because I think that would be the epic battle. That would be, that would be world. That would be you know WW wrestling par excellence. Who would be? Who could you imagine having a better debate on the issues than Trump v Sanders? Right? To me, that's that's the only game in town. Right? So I'll get out in front of it. I'll talk about it. Right? So I'm going to give each one of these gentlemen three minutes to to state their case. We'll go back vintage Bernie from 2015. And we'll go back to about the same era, uh, era with Trump. Now, Trump has done quite a bit, has has, uh, you know, been quite visual. But let's just let's just in fairness, we'll give them each three minutes. Right? OK, I'll try to be I'm not biased. I'm just trying to just. You know, I think it would be an epic battle. Can Sanders beat the president? I don't know. I don't know. So we'll talk about health care. Let's see about college tuition, right? All the all the issues. Let's talk about the issues. So in fairness, let's give um let's give the president of the United States the first three minutes and then I'll come back and then we'll give uh the challenger, Bernie Sanders, uh, an equal three minutes and we'll see. We'll we'll have a discussion. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. We need somebody that literally will take this country and make it great again. I am officially running for President of the United States, and we are going to make our country great again. Those controversial comments set off one of the least conventional campaigns in modern history. Against all odds, Donald Trump, the New York City billionaire with no political experience, was running for the presidency. Skeptics pounced. And which Republican candidate <clears throat> has the best chance of winning the general election? Of the declared ones right now, Donald Trump. <laughs>
What his doubters didn't know was just how big the appetite was for an outsider candidate. Trump's populist message received nearly unlimited media coverage. By the first debate, he was the clear front runner. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only Rosie several... O'Donnell. Trump dominated the airwaves by repeatedly taking on reporters and refusing to waver from his hardline stance on immigration. Excuse me, sit down. You weren't called. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Go ahead. No, you don't. You haven't been called. Go back to Univision. He packed stadiums with tens of thousands of enthusiastic supporters. He took out his Republican opponents by giving them nicknames that seemed to stick. That was my job to get along with people. But the simple I didn't want fact to, is, excuse me, one second. No. I the didn't simple want fact to is, get Donald, you cannot take more energy tonight. I like no. that. Little Marco, by the way, is a choke artist, but you have to spell it right. It's L Y I N apostrophe Lion Ted. The Bible held high. He puts it down and then he lies. Betting markets, the media, and his rivals continued to doubt his chances, but Trump continued to dominate the polls, even amid controversial proposals such as this one. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. I humbly and gratefully accept your nomination for the presidency of the United States. It's like a magnet. Just like, I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the Just for the record, though, are you saying that what you said on that bus 11 years ago, that you did not actually kiss women without consent or grope women without consent? I have great respect for women. Nobody has more respect for women than I do. In recent days, Trump has been bolstered by his opponent's struggle. He's closed the gap in many polls and embraced his role as an outsider who will take on Washington. When we win on November 8th, we are going to Washington, D.C., and we are going to drain the swamp. So there you have it, the master, the master campaigner, Donald Trump on the stump. Uh, who could beat Donald Trump on the stump, right? Make America great again? Right? We're going to drain the swamp. Draining the swamp. Everybody wants the swamp to be drained, right? Fucking build a wall. Build a wall. Build a wall. Ten feet higher, right? Now, Trump got, uh, we're going to have a Muslim band, and uh, he's tough on the corporate media, right? It gives, he breaks their balls, right? We love that shit. We love when... He breaks the the mainstream media's balls, but what do they do? He gets unlimited media coverage. And why do you think that Donald Trump gets on un, un, unlimited media coverage? It has nothing to do with the tax breaks that the corporations were promised, right? It has nothing to do with any of that, right? That's just speculation on Conti's part. But I'll put it out there anyway. But so that's that's our that's our hero, Donald J. Trump, President of the United States. Now let's see uh, let's see what. Uh, Bernie Sanders has to say, and then I'll, I'm going to do a breakdown of each of the uh, issues. We'll come back and we'll talk about the issues. So let's hear from uh, Senator from Vermont, Bernie Sanders, the challenger. Today, here in our small state, a state that has led this nation in so many ways, I am proud to announce my candidacy for President of the United States of America. I believe in a country where people work 40 hours a week, they should not live in poverty, which is why we've got to raise the minimum wage to a living wage, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, I grew up in a family that did not have a lot of money. I know what economic struggle is about. And yes, if people want to criticize me for standing up for the working class, and the middle class of this country, and somebody who has for 30 years taken on the wealthiest people in America and virtually every special interest, fine. You want to criticize me for that? I accept that criticism. That's who I am. That's what I do. American democracy is not about billionaires like the Koch brothers or Sheldon Adelson being prepared to spend more money in this election cycle than either the Democratic Party or the Republican Party. When you have one family buying the political process of America, that's not called democracy, that is called oligarchy, and we're not going to allow that to take place. What 
Iranian tells me is the American people have had enough. They are ready for real change in this country. They are ready for a political revolution, and that's what we are going to deliver. Thank you all very much. You know, I think what they are responding to is that finally somebody is kind of telling the truth about what's going on in American society. You know, it's something that people internally understand, uh, but they don't hear it very often. And that is that there's something fundamentally wrong when the great middle class of this country disappears and virtually all of the income and all of the wealth is going to the top one-tenth of one percent or one percent. And people say, that's crazy, that's wrong. But nobody's really talking about it. Today, we stand here and say loudly and clearly, enough is enough. This great nation and its government belong to all of the people and not to a handful of billionaires. Not to a handful of billionaires, struck of Bernie Sanders, right? Fucking laying it out, laying it out, right? What a comparison. What a what a contrast in ideas, right? It's Donald Trump, the president of the United States, how he ran his campaign and became the president of the United States, as opposed to Bernie Sanders, who ran in the Democratic Party and got cheated by Hillary Clinton and the the cheating Democrats, the same Democrats that are now putting up shit sandwiches for you to eat. And um so so let's talk about let's talk about some of the issues so let's talk about health care so what does bernie sanders want right we all we all agree that that somehow uh health care is is an is an important issue in this country right we'd rather we'd like to spend very very little if nothing right so what is bernie sanders uh, for medicare for all right medicare for all free universal medicare for all as a birthright in the united states that's what bernie sanders wants what does trump want something much better Two years later, something much better. What what's happened? The cost of health care continues to go up. Yeah, we got rid of Obamacare, but what did you replace it with? Uh, absolutely nothing. Right. So, so who's winning on that one? I, I you got to give that one to. Uh, I guess you got to give it to Bernie. Right. You got to give it to Bernie. College tuition at city and state universities. Right. Making it free. That's what Bernie wants. Bernie Sanders wants it to be free at college, free college at city and state universities. Was Trump Trump? I have never heard Trump say anything about tuitions, except that we have the best schools and the best colleges, right? right? He, he hasn't really said anything about it, right? So I guess we got to give that one to Bernie, too, right? What are we going to pay for it all, though? How are we going to pay for all this free stuff, right? If fucking socialist Bernie Sanders, he's, 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 living, in a, he's living in his own world, right? He's got, he's got the people on his side, but how are you going to pay for it, Bernie? Fucking, how are you going to pay for it? So let's talk about money and politics, right? So all, all we, we all know, I mean, I think we all agree that the politicians are all on the take, right? They all take the money from the corporations, right? The corporations pay them off and they get the decisions they want, right? And, and they get unlimited contributions into their campaign accounts, right? That's how they do it, right? The corporations make a nice little two, three million, five million. If you're running for Senate, 20 million, 15 million, 80 million, whatever. However much money it takes for you to get elected, corporations are willing to put that money into your account. So what is so what are, what are the uh, what are the what are the two candidates uh, want? Bernie Sanders overturned Citizens United. That's the law that holds that that loophole in place, right? That money is speech and that you can give candidates unlimited money. Bernie Sanders wants to overturn it. He also wants to go back to a publicly financed election system where you put a cap on the amount of money that politicians can take in a given campaign and if you get caught cheating you go to jail it's bribery right it's 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 fraud right you go back to a, a an actual legal system so what does the other candidate want what does uh, Donald Trump want uh, give tax breaks to the the top one percent right right who don't pay tax anyway you just give them knock them down from 34 to 20 because then trickle down economics will kick in and the corporations will <clears throat> reciprocate <clears throat> and then everything's fine right because the politicians the money in politics doesn't affect the politicians according to Trump because 
He's giving the people that give the politicians the money all the breaks, right? And what does he do to the regular people? Yeah, he gave them a little three percent, a little three percent, you know, decline. But it is a austerity in this country. If you don't pay a minimum amount of tax, they take away your driver's license, they take away your passport, right? We're living in the in the totalitarian austerity age, right? So that's those, that's how they stand on money and politics. What about uh, the economy? What about the economy overall, right? So the markets are tanking right now. We're in a bear market, right? And Trump is saying, Trump is saying, buy, buy stock. It's an opportunity to buy stock, right? That's what he's telling 70% of the uh, people living in object poverty in this country, buy stock, right? He must know something, right? You must as well fucking buy stock, right? So what does Bernie say? Break up the banks, right? Bernie Sanders, break up the banks. How are you going to break up the banks? Well, Bernie Sanders has been asked that many times publicly, and he didn't really have a very clear answer. But there is a there is a solution in taxing them, right? Jack up their tax and let them let them break, uh, let them break uh, 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 in in itself. Let them break on their own. Right? What else he says? He says tax the rich, raise their taxes. Whoa, fucking Bernie Sanders says that shit. Raise the taxes on the one percent. Why is the one percent? Running the show, why is one family get you know in this country uh, uh, get all the breaks? It's oligarchy, monopoly. Wow. Sanders gets it. So what about immigration? Immigration, right? Give so where where does uh, where does Bernie Sanders stand? He says give everybody a chance, this fucking guy, right? He's let, he's let, he says open up the wall, open up the fucking borders. It's like a spigot, right? And he says enforce the laws, enforce the. The existing laws, right? If people get here and and it's a land of the free, home of the brave, send us your tired, your poor. That's that old American thing, remember? Like that shit. Remember the last Statue of Liberty where fucking immigrants came in, the boat came in? Now we want to fucking stand there with cannons and sink the boats when they come in, right? Fucking they kick, put your boot in their eye when they're coming over the Mexican walls, fuckers, right? That's what we need to do, right? That's what Trump wants to do. He wants to fucking kick these motherfuckers in there. In their ball sack, right? Give them a good cunt kick from behind, right? You build a wall. You build a wall. That's what Trump wants to do. Trump says, fucking build a wall. Bernie's saying, give everything away. And Trump's saying, build a wall. I don't know. You, you got, I guess you got to pick that one. I don't know what the fuck is going on. So foreign affairs. Let's talk about wars, right? Where's, where's Sanders stand on wars? Where's Trump stand on wars? I, I, this is going to be a coin toss. I think I got to give this. This is even. Now, Bernie is all about ending counterinsurgency wars, right? He's he's about America first as well, right? He doesn't believe in 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 interventionism and and uh, I, he's the, he voted against Iraq. He voted you know against all these fucking wars, right? Right. He also voted against the the bank bailouts, right? He was one of the few senators in the Senate at the time that stood up and said no 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 no. So so. Bernie's a, an America first guy and Trump as well. Trump ended Syria, ended the war in Syria, brought the troops home. He's halfway out of Afghanistan, made peace with North Korea. Right? Still dropping bombs. Bombs are still going off. There's still 300, you know, uh, military bases, U.S. military bases around the world. No, no, no change there. Still, you know, nuclear, nuclear warships parked off the coast of Japan, you know, so none of that has changed. Right. So but both both of our candidates are America first. So we'll give we'll give that a tie tie ball game. Uh, calling out the media. What about calling out the media? Right. Bernie says the media is owned by the one percent. His uh, his opponent, uh, Donald Trump, has said that the uh, news is fake. The, the corporate media is a fake media that they're owned by the corporations and they play against the people. However, that same fake news media gave Trump uh, uh, virtually unlimited time uh, in in the campaign. So I don't know. I mean, his 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 mouth is it's fake news, Trump. And but in in the final analysis, he gives the fake news media corporate tax breaks that call that allow them to continue to do what they're doing. Right? He feeds the the monster, Trump. So he's saying blah 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 fake news, but in in effect he's giving them uh, uh, using his executive power to uh, to uh, to present a tax cut. Right, virtually any business they do abroad now is 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 tax free. 
So, so that's Trump. Uh, I would have to give that one to Bernie Sanders. I, I guess we got to give it to Bernie. Bernie's like, the media is owned by the by the one percent. You challenge them, you bring them down, right? So, what else? Oh, how do you stand against your opponent? Oh, this is a tough one, right? Standing up against your opponent, standing up against the evildoers, right? Who are we going to give that one to? So, so when Bernie Sanders was running, when he finally got cheated by by Hillary Clinton, what happened? He folded like a beach chair. Right? He fucking he packed up like a, like the circus and he went home. Right? He put his he put everything away and he went home. They, they, they allegedly he got a seven hundred thousand dollar country home and and a fucking right and he got he got all his positions back in the Senate and everything was fine. Right? Bernie was just the was Bernie just a talking head? Did he change the dialogue in our country? Yeah, he changed the dialogue, but did he get? Did he win? Is he a winner? No, he's not a winner, right? So uh, he bent over, you know, he bent over for, in the receiving position for 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 Hillary and whoever else, right? He, he went along with the Russia bullshit, the Russian narrative, right? So what about the other guy? Uh, Trump holds people to the fire to the bitter end, you know, right? Right? He's got he's got he invented fucking Q, right? Q's fucking out there telling people fucking trust the plan, right? Trust the plan, right? That's all we got. Trust the plan. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, right? But uh, you know, Trump holds his ground. So there's our two candidates. And um I don't know. It's up to you. I mean, I think it's if 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 uh, Bernie Sanders can get through the margin of cheating in New Hampshire, the first contest on the list right the first democratic primary the fake primary if he can out outwit the you know if he can ex exceed the margin of cheating right and the democrats will back him as a democrat i i think that would be a spectacular run i think these guys are gonna <laughs> come out swinging for the fences so uh, that's all for now my name is marcus conti reporting